Hey guys, this is Tom with Deckard Landscape Borders. Um, today we're going to be uh, doing an inside wall cap on an Allen block wall. We've got a we've got a sunken fire pit and this inside radius here with the with the Allen block classics. It creates a special problem with the caps, and I'll show you what I mean here. If you try to cap this straight up, you end up with these gaps here. You can't get the cap to come forward because because of this notch on the Allen block wall or the Allen block cap. So we need to modify this cap in a way to make it come forward, and then we also need to cut our angles to make the curve. So we'll start with modifying the cap. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to extend our notch back. Now on this particular radius, we've determined it's going to be about an inch and three quarter. We're going to make some work. We want to leave these tabs on the end. So that, that's what's going to capture our, our forward progress on our cap. So we're just going to put a little angle on each end. And then we're going to cut that out. Once your cuts are made, you just need to break this out with a brick hammer. Chip away the edges. If you have a grinder, you can run a grinder through and clean it up. And now when we come up to our high point, that'll allow the cap to come forward where it should. That takes up that gap there. So now we just gotta do it to another one. Same way. So now we got our two caps modified, both of them are far forward now, and now we got to um, accommodate for this gap. And because the gap is greater than an inch, inch and a quarter, this one's about two and a quarter, we need to split this cut between the two caps. So if we put it all on one cap, when we bring them together, we're going to end up with a gap here between the two caps, they'll stagger down. And a way to eliminate that is to split the distance between the two. So we got about two and a quarter, so we'll take an inch and an eighth off the end of each one. Run those over to the saw and see how it fits. All right, so we're back from the saw. We made our two cuts, and as you can see, get a nice clean cut there. No weird gaps here. Front looks like it should. Everything's forward. And we'll just continue that around and uh, just keep repeating the process. All right, so as we come around with our caps, you'll notice that our offset is starting to change. We started here in the center of the blocks. And every time we come around to each block, we lose a little bit because we're taking about three inches off each block. And so after we've set three caps, our offset is down to only a few inches here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut this block and make a spacer to get our offset going again. All right, so there's our spacer cap we put in to get our offset going again. And now for the next few blocks, we should be able to continue our offset. Okay, so we got all of our caps all cut in on this radius came out pretty nice 
fairly time consuming. Each one of these caps had to be cut five times. So it took two of us probably an hour and a half here. This last one's not cut yet, but the rest of them are all in there. Pretty tight corners or tight gaps. And that's how you do an inside radius cap on an Allen block wall.